Hey guys, Sean here. So today we're going to be installing a Game Boy Color battery indicator. Uh, it's a pretty quick and easy build from a guy named Frago Customs. And it just shows you uh, a little green light if your batteries are you know, fully charged or new. Um, and then it changes to red when uh, your batteries get low or to indicate that you, know, you better save your game. So um, yeah, let's get started. Um, but before we do, a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is PCB Way. I actually know a lot of people that have been using their services for circuit board manufacturing and 3D printing and stuff. People like Natalie the Nerd, HDR, Martin Repsa, and B23N. They offer rapid prototyping, PCB assembly, flex PCBs, uh, stencils for solder paste, CNC, all kinds of stuff. And even just working with them as a sponsor, I've seen how great of a company they are. Uh, I have a couple of new videos in the works where I'm going to be using their services, so you'll get to see even more in-depth on how it works ordering from them. It's really easy. Anyway, if you need any sort of 3D printing or PCB manufacturing done, PCB Way is the way to go. So here's the little uh, flex PCB from Frago Customs. Uh, we're going to be soldering down to this bottom corner and running a wire from this little top pad. And then over here is the green LED and the red LED and that's pretty much it. So first thing we need to do is take apart our Game Boy. This is kind of my testing uh, Game Boy that I've been using for all my recent mods. So here it is and I do have uh, a Natalie the Nerd uh, button uh, LED mod in here. Um, and that does include a power LED, uh, but it doesn't really have any sort of power indicator like the Frago Customs ones does. Um, so we're going to have to cut off that power LED. But anyway, here's the Frago Customs board. It's going to be installed uh, right where the old power LED goes. Um, it lines up to a couple pads. Um, this first one is going to be where it uh, connects to the power switch area. So here's this uh, Natalie the Nerd. LED that we're going to remove. So I'm just uh, lifting up the tape here and we're literally just going to chop it off and it should be okay. So we don't need that anymore. Let's stick that back down. So up here is where the old power LED was. So if you haven't done any mods to yours, you're probably going to have to you know, heat up the little, the original LED to remove it. And then because the, uh, the Frago Customs board is going to go in place of there, um, we really want to mask that area so uh, it doesn't make any connections that we don't want it to. Probably one more piece. I think that, yeah, it's still going to be touching. So one more piece here. And I think that should be good. And yeah, that looks like it should be looks like it should be perfect now. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put another piece of capped on tape on top of the Frogo Customs board just so you know to hold it in place while we uh, tack it down a little bit. And here I'm just uh, applying some solder, and then I'm using some tweezers to uh, you know push the board down so it really really makes a good good connection. And yeah. There's three little pads down here. I think this bottom left one is uh, doesn't actually do anything, but um, you know, just you should probably uh, put it on all three just in case, just to make sure the board is really nice and firmly held in place. This one is a ground pad, so this one doesn't matter, and it should be held in place plenty now for to remove the tape. So now there's just one more little pad. It's going to connect over to the the little uh, via that says VDD2. And that is, uh, it allows power to pass through only when the power switch is on. So let's just tin up this little pad here. And then the kit comes with a wire, so it's all ready to go. So just attach our wire here. Just like that. And then putting some flux over on this side because because 
Uh, soldering to vias can sometimes be a little bit tricky. And there we go. So now we're just going to put it back in the shell to test it. Turn down the lights. And we're going to be looking for the LED over here. And yep, there it is. Green LED, which means our batteries are you know, well above, I think, I think it uh, changes to red maybe around 1.2 volts or something. Okay, so now all that's left is to put it back together. It's really that simple. And well, there we have it. Now let's, uh, maybe we should give it an actual proper test with a game. Uh, in doing this, it actually took me quite a while to uh, wear out some batteries to, to test, but I finally did it here. Here's a Hamtaro. See the batteries are fully charged, it's green. And finally, it changes to red. Yep, so that's it for this one, you guys. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again to Frago Customs for sending me a little uh, circuit board to install in here and yeah I had a lot of fun putting that together. So, see you later! <laughs>